Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing something a little bit different than normal. I'm actually doing a home renovation of a starter apartment. I've never really done one before and I thought it would be really fun to change things up a little, you know, maybe give it a shot to work with an apartment just because it is a bit more, I find, tricky to work with an apartment because you can't you know, you obviously can't build outside of the confines of the apartment itself, so I want to push myself a little into working within the confines of what I was given. So obviously I could change the walls within the apartment, but it's not like I could build outside of the apartment because the lot itself is restricted by the building it's in, which was really interesting and kind of a fun thing for me to play with, and I think I'd like to work on more of them in the future to really you know, push myself, get a little better at building apartments, we'll see, you know. So with this build itself, I actually wanted to go with a really traditional style apartment. So your basic red brick, like starter apartment, someone maybe just out of college I kind of envision would be living in this apartment. Um, you know, in reality, as someone a couple of years outside of college, this would still be a pretty expensive apartment, but you know, broken dream. So that was my vision, was that this would be a post-college someone young and hip and moving into the big city to start fresh um, and want that, you know, as you can see, I put in that big red brick wallpaper going on, um, just playing around. I took out all of the walls on the inside. Like I said, I wanted, you know, to play with the interior walls since I have no ability to play with the exterior walls. Um, which, you know, really pushed me to get a little bit more creative. I probably should have made the bathroom a little bigger, but also like in reality, apartment bathrooms are really tiny. I don't know if any of you guys live in one currently or have taken a look at, you know, generally starter apartments. The bathrooms are tiny, guys. Like I can't even, my first apartment, um, it was actually two separate rooms. So I had like one, tiny little square bathroom that was just like toilet and then a separate bathroom that was just the shower and I didn't even have a sink like I had to use my kitchen sink to wash my hands like that was my starter apartment oh my gosh don't miss it <laughs> it was so frustrating like you don't realize the kind of luxuries you have until you don't have them and I never think about having a bathroom sink as a luxury um, I don't know if you can hear a bell jingling in the background, but my cat is currently sitting next to me and she is readjusting herself to sit down. Yeah, good girl. She's a sweet bean, um, but she has a bell on her collar, so it jingles when she wiggles. Anywho, um, yeah, so I really like this little kitchen area that I decided to do. I wanted it, um, you know, it's small, obviously there's not a small a lot of space but so I decided that how I would do this is have the kitchen dining and living area all be one big open space to really maximize you know the feel of the apartment because it's not a large apartment I mean it's larger than some but it's smaller than others and I really didn't want to take away from the amount of like living space that you would have you know if you had like a sim in this apartment I'd want it to be actually usable as opposed to like really tiny spaces and you know not a lot of room to see your sim you know live and move around etc etc um so I really wanted to create an open living space uh I was struggling here with the kitchen cabinets I don't know if that's like a thing with just me or with you guys too um, I don't actually always use the kitchen cabinets because I never, I don't know, in some places it looks really, really good and other times I'm just like, why did I use that? I don't know. It's probably just a me thing. Um, but yeah, I took quite a hot minute there trying to figure out the cabinets. But anyways, yeah, so I went, you know, again, since this is like a brick apartment, I wanted it to have like an industrial feel to the kitchen um, right next to the little like dining area that's got that really nice like sunny nook so that you know you get up in the morning you're having your cup of coffee you're making your scrambled eggs you're getting ready to go and you can see the sun it makes you feel really good um, and bright this is especially you know something I desire now because it's currently the beginning of February and it's still dark out when I go to work in the morning <laughs> 
oh god I missed the sun <laughs> so that I also kind of reflected in this apartment that I was building be like oh wouldn't it be so nice to just be like snuggled up at your little cute coffee table slash tiny dining table um, and just enjoy the sun in the morning oh I can picture it I would definitely live in this apartment if I could it just I love the feel of it I also feel kind of like I was inspired by a lot of those you know, to friends style TV shows where it's just like a bunch of people living in a, like a New York City apartment. Um, you know, again, that really industrial vibe to the interior of the building. Um, and yeah, so like I said, with the living, kitchen, dining, whole area, it's completely open. The only two separate rooms are the bedroom and the tiny bathroom. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, just choking here, no big deal. Um, so anyways, with the living space here, we've got a nice TV up on the wall because, listen, if, for me personally, if I'm going to invest in anything, it's going to be a nice TV. Like, especially one of those Roku ones, that's what I have now. I absolutely love it. I can't go back. It's got my Netflix, my Amazon Prime, all of my things so that I can binge watch TV. So obviously, if I was going to live in a hip apartment in the city, I would invest in a TV, if anything. <laughs> so I decided that this apartment was going to have a big TV because like that's, you know, part of, you know, have your friends over, everybody makes food, hang out, watch TV and whatever. So, you know, that's like the one luxury in this apartment is that big TV because everything else is kind of simple, pretty like relaxed with the decorations. Um, wanted, you know, like this like nice little bookshelf and I've got like a little potted plant on the kitchen table there. Um, but other than that, you know, really simplistic in styling. Um, I was playing around with the colors, so as you can see, with that bright yellow. Um, just playing around, seeing what I could do. Um, and then, of course, we got the entryway. Um, and just putting some cute little stuff, like a nice little side table there. Just, you know, stuff that makes it feel a lot less like a apartment that you're renting and a lot more like a home. Because that's what you want to feel like, even when you're living in a rented apartment. Um, I know that's how I've always felt is I just want to make sure that yeah this is temporary this is a rental property but it doesn't mean I don't want it to feel like I live there and I belong there and I come home after work and you know this is my home and I also want a sim to feel just as much like this is their home and so it's really cute and cozy got little candles got your umbrella thing right by the door there um, just a couple little decorations and not enough to clutter up the place and make it feel like you don't have enough space to move around and live and function, but just like enough to make it feel personal and like it's your own. Um, so that's kind of what I was doing there, just playing around a bit, trying to figure it all out. I'm really happy with how this apartment came out for the fact that it's like the first time I've really played around with the apartments in Sims 4. Um, I personally think it's really cute. This is definitely my aesthetic. I don't know if it's anybody else's or if this is just like a super me thing going for like, red brick with like industrial kind of feel um, but for me super a thing um, okay so moving on to the tiny bathroom um, yeah this oh this brings back memories of my tiny bathroom oh my gosh guys anyways you know just trying to fit in all of the necessities in the tiny space we've got a shower no space for a bath which is a bummer but that's kind of the reality of tiny apartment living um, I do like that there's a window in the bathroom. I do feel like that really opens up the space as well. Oh, I really wanted to put that shrimp poster in there, but uh, I uh, didn't go with it. A little disappointed in myself, because I could have, if I believed hard enough, I could have gotten that shrimp poster in there, but I didn't, so whatever, we're moving on. Um, but yeah, I really like the window being right over the, um, the kitchen sink there, because normally when I'm doing a build, I like doing the standard kitchen sink in a mirror so you can, you know, see yourself and like put your makeup on in the morning or whatever. But I do really like the idea of brightening up this tiny space with a window that you can look out and see the outdoors so you feel less like closed in and like you're in a tiny space because you have visibility to the outside and it makes it feel bigger and more open and really nice. Um, so, you know, tiny bathroom, you gotta work with what you gotta work with. And if that means having a giant window that's you know what we're going with <laughs> so that's what i did um and then last but certainly not least i'll be moving on to the bedroom um which by the way i love small bedrooms i don't again 
it may be a me thing, it might just be my aesthetic, but I love the cozy feeling of small bedrooms. So, you know, having, you know, enough space to move around, but also like small enough that you feel like you're snug and secure in the evening. Um, that's just a vibe I really like. So that's kind of what I did here because it's not the biggest apartment. Um, so it's not the biggest apartment in the world um, and it's also not the biggest bedroom in the world so you know she doesn't really the sim wouldn't have space for you know like a full closet so we've got the clothing rack there and a cute little dresser drawers um with just little pieces of decorations but you know just something to feel you know cozy like i like cozy bedrooms that's just like my personal taste is you know you're nice and snug and cozy without again feeling over cluttered with lots and lots of stuff so i went with you know again a few little bits of decorations here and there but because it is a small space i didn't want to over clutter it with stuff so that the sim can't like move around or in, you know enjoy her apartment um so that is what i was going for with the bedroom and I feel like I achieved what I had envisioned what I was trying to do with it um, so I'm quite pleased with that I'm just finishing everything up giving it a couple little last pieces there I like putting flowers indoors so that's you can see I put like a little flower pot um, on the dresser drawer there I do feel like having flowers bringing them on the inst like on the inside um, when you live in a small apartment, again, it just makes it feel like you're not closed in, you know? You're not, like, stuck in this little space. Like, flowers just brighten things up. I don't know. I really like flowers, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so that is the end of everything that I'm doing in this apartment. I'm just like, you can see I was doing a couple last minute bits and pieces here. But that is the end of this home reservation. Reservation? renovation oh my gosh um anyways i'm really excited about it please let me know in the comments below what you think about it um you know do you feel the same way about apartments do you like having them nice open spaces you know have you lived in an apartment with crazy tiny bathroom like i have because let me tell you that was an experience um but anyways yeah that is it for this video um i do have a twitter that i'm on all the time if you want to come hang out with me there'll be a link in the description box below. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And as always, have an amazing day, guys. Bye.